Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Amy and today we're going to be doing a look with the Jaclyn Hill palette from Morphe. And I'm sure you've seen it. it. Just looks like this. Well, it doesn't actually look like this. I taped the little insert to right there because I need to know the color names. I don't need to, but I like to. So what I was wanting to do today was probably a brown smoky eye because I haven't done one in a while and I just kind of feel like it. So let's get our kitty cat ears on and get this party started. So let me zoom you in before I forget. So I already have my face done. The, uh, wow, I'm at a loss for words already. <laughs> the foundation is the Tarte Rainforest at the Seawater Foundation, the clay stick concealer. I have on my Pure Bronze and Brighton palette for the bronzer. I have the Morphe Debutante Contour and Mellow Cosmetics Concealer. I mean, sorry, blush in bronze is the color. So to get started, we're gonna take our SL Miss Glam. I said it right again. Okay, we're gonna use the color Silk Cream, which is this guy right here. Let me get my mirror out. And we're just gonna tap into that. And just use this as our crease transition shade, whatever you wanna call it. And I have a look on using this foundation, a foundation tutorial using that. I'll link it up here if you want to see it. And let's go into, let's already start to deepen it up, but you know what, let's use a smaller brush. I'm going to use this Luxie Mini Tapered 121 brush, and I'm going to take this color Mocha, it's just this brown shade back here. We're going to take that just right into the crease. Just right here. And on both sides. There must have been some shimmer in that brush because I have a little bit of shimmer on my lids and it is not from these eyeshadows. Probably from my Super Shock shadows because it looks like really tiny glitter. If you want to see the tutorial for the Super Shock Shadows, link it right there. <laughs> so I just got back from vacation. I take my blending brush and blend. And did not want to come home. <laughs> I just wanted to stay at the beach and relax. I uh, didn't want to come back. We had such a good trip. I was out on the beach the majority of the time because that's where I belong because I'm a mermaid. So yeah, that is not a lie, I'm a mermaid. So I'm going to go into the color Central Park, I thought it said perk, this one right here. It's like a dark espresso kind of shade. I'm going to do that on the outer. Should I bring you in some more? Should I? I should. I'll do it. I'm just bringing that, and then I'm gonna buff it in just a second. Have you guys went on any trips this year? If so, I would love to know what you did. Did you go to a beach? Because I have to, like, if I'm gonna go somewhere during the summer, it really needs to be to the ocean. I don't live super far. But I still have to cross, like, I don't have to cross the state line to go to an ocean, but where we prefer to go, we do. But, you know. Alright, now I've just got that laid down. I'm going to go back in with a blending brush after I put these up. Let's take a different blending brush. Let's use this BH number five brush. And just go in and softly blend that. I haven't done a brown, I don't think I've done a brown smoky look in a minute. I don't think I've made a tutorial for one either. So I could be wrong though. Let's take, I don't have a name on this brush 
because it's super old, but it's just a small little smudgy guy like that. I'm going to go back into that mocha shade. I'm going to bring that and connect it with the outer portion of the color from the top. Just like that. And now, to deepen things up just a tidbit more, I'm going to take, let's take this guy. This is the Vintage Cosmetic Com Company, step one for the money brush. It's just a, it's just a brush. We're going to go into this color Abyss. It's just a flat black. You don't have to have this palette to do this look. Now, I know I said this would be a brown smoky look but it is going to be but this is going to be for depth and then I'm going to go over top of it with brown but you don't have to have this exact palette if you have any blacks or browns from any other shade you can still recreate this look I'm going to go back in and tap into mocha and central perk like this I'm just going to go choop, choop, not the green choop, choop. just tap into it like that so I get a little mixture of them and I'm going to go over top that black. I'm not worried about it being like crazy patchy at the moment because I'm going to blend it out. Because that is not a look. It's not a look that you want. I mean, you might, but I wouldn't. I'm going to take my Luxie 209. This is actually a shader brush, but it's a little more dense, so I want to blend with it. Make sure we get that line blended out. little circular motions see how that just I don't know I feel like using something a little more dense works better than a fluffy brush to get those harsh edges out but then I usually like to go back in anyways with a uh, fluffy brush it's gonna be smoky it's gonna be smoky y'all okay now like I said I'm gonna go back in with my I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back in with that silk cream, which was that first shade we used, to actually just tap, tap, tap over the top of that with. And just go back and blend with that. Just like that. Little circular motions and windshield wiper motions. Now, what I think we're going to do is go in with our concealer. If I can find it. I'm actually just going to use this LA Pro Conceal in flat white. Super white. And I'm going to take a little... Let me set this palette down because it's sliding everywhere. I'm going to take just a little on the back of my hand. Just like that. Because I don't want to work straight from this to my eye because it's got one of those tips on it that, I don't know, it's just easy to cross-contaminate bacteria that way. And I just not, I'm not a fan of those types of tops. So I'm going to put this right here in the first, whatever, half of the eye, I guess. And I'm not worried about it looking pretty right this second. Just getting it laid down. I'll wipe a little of the excess off. Get a little and go back to the middle with it. And now I'm going to worry about blending, making sure it's soft. It's a little patchy right there. Let's fix it. I've got to find a new brush for cut creases because I've not been a fan of this one. It's not stiff enough and I need a stiffer one for this. Right now I look like a panda or a zebra. I don't know. One or the other. So now that we've pandaed ourselves, I'm going to go in with a brush if I can find it. I'm going to go back in with that mocha shade, which was the lighter of the browns that we used. And I'm going to pat that over this edge to make sure it's not harsh. 
We'll wipe off the excess product. And then go back and diffuse it a little more. Like that. And for the, I want to use a color in the front. I actually want to use this, if I can get it out, this Dose of Colors pigment in Shell. And what we're going to do is take a, let's take a, whatever this brush is. We'll use this one. This is a It Cosmetics airbrush crease brush. It doesn't, you don't have to use it in your crease. So it's got the primer that you lay down first. And I know we already have the concealer down, but I'm going to lay this over top of it because it actually has some pigment to it. It's like a, almost like a very light rosy color. So I'm going to lay that down first. And then I'm going to go into the actual pigment, which when you open it, it's got pigment in it like that. And I'm actually going to dip into the lid because it's a little less messy to do that. I'm going to go in and pat that on the lid. This is very sparkly. Very pretty. We're going to do the same thing to the other eye. I feel like i got to get my mojo back. You know how when you haven't done something for a minute, you got to get back in the groove of it? That's where I'm at right now. Because I haven't filmed. I didn't film last week. It was the first time I haven't filmed because we were on vacation. And I'll let you guys know beforehand that, you know, I wouldn't be filming down there where we went because it's about family and family time to me. And it's not about, you know, bringing anything else with you. So, I feel like I got to get back in the groove of it, you know what I mean? So now that we have that laid down, I'm going to close it because it's making a horrendous mess everywhere. <sighs> it's, it's everywhere. <sighs> so now that we have that put where we want it, I'm going to take what is left on the brush and just run it under the eye, which seems to be a lot. I didn't realize how much was left on it. And now I'm going to go in with a... BH number eight brush and this little palette I'm using this is just optional just because you guys know I like using a cream shade I'm just gonna use take this tart be you naturally and take this this cream shade and put it right up underneath my brow bone because that's just preference for me I like having a little bit of a beigey creamy bony shade underneath my brow I feel like it looks it just looks nicer. I don't know. A lot of people can bring their color up to their their eyebrows, and I feel like I can't do that. I have a lot of lid space, even though my eyes are slightly hooded and deep set. I still have a lot of lid space, and I don't want to bring it all the way up to the top. I'm gonna go back and blend, just like that. All right. Now I'm going to get my eyeliner, and this is my number one most favorite eyeliner, if I can find it. It is the Sex Kitten from Tarte. It is just a super black eyeliner. And I'm going to line my tight, or tight line and line my water line with it. I just really love how black the liner is and it stays put which is my biggest pet peeve I told you guys there's no pretty face to make when you're doing the top lid you just gotta embrace being ugly for a minute and apparently getting it on your top lid But if you do, like I did, it's not really a big deal. Because you can just go behind it with a little Q-tip, like I usually have with me. And just rub it away. There you go. Now I'm going to get a brush and wipe off some of this 
fallout I have on my face from that pigment. I should have laid my tissue down, but I didn't. All right. Next thing we're going to go in, curl our lashes, put on our mascara. You guys know the drill. Doing all that jazz. I'm just going to curl with my eyelash curler, and I'm going to use the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. guys know that's what I've been using. I've got to get this extra white off my hands. And you know we're going to do two coats. How do you prefer to do your mascara? I know a lot of women that they do one coat and they let it like completely dry and then they do the second coat if they do, you know, two or more coats. I find that if I let it dry between coats, that it does not look good. I haven't tried it with every mascara I've done it with, just because I have a habit of what I do. But when I have dried it, it has just made it horrendously, like, clumpy and awful looking. I always like to do it before the first coat dries. And that's our top. And do the bottom. I accidentally got mascara on my face, of course. Because that's pretty much just who I am as a person, right? That's just what I'm going to do. If you've been watching me long enough, you know that that's what I'm going to do. Okay. I'm actually going to add a third coat. You know why? Because I can. Heh. Let's do a third coat. Just for the sake of doing a third coat. And because I love doing mascara. I should have a mascara review up for y'all pretty soon. Probably next week because I don't think it's going to get here until the 11th I think it said. So, it probably won't be until next week. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be reviewing a mascara that a company... Hello. Okay. That a company actually sent me. And it's a fiber mascara, which I hate. I hate fiber mascaras. But, I haven't tried all of them. And to be frankly honest, I've only tried one. So, the one that I did try, I absolutely hated and it got all in my eye and it poked my eyeball out all day and it really bothered me. So we'll see if I hate this one or if I love it or if I just okay it because that could happen also. But no matter the case, whatever it is, I'll be 100% honest about it because that's who I am. I'm trying to get a Q-tip out and cleaning up. And like I said, I already have my face and my eyebrows done which I just used this Mellow Cosmetics brow pencil, which I'm kind of liking. And I have the Bronze and Brighton for my bronzer. And I'm using this Mellow blush, which is just like a natural bronzy color. It's actually in the color bronze. I really like how it looks for this look. And I actually, they actually, I'm going to zoom you out just a little bit. They actually reached out to me and asked if I wanted to be an ambassador with their brand. And I said, sure, because I already have four of their products, I think. So I actually knew I liked their products. So I will have an affiliate link for you guys in the description box if you want to make a purchase. If you make a purchase through my link, I may make some type of commission off of that. Um, but you can use my code I'll have down there for 10% off. They were doing 30% off for a mid-year sale. Um, I don't know I'll, if, 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 if it's still going on, I'll put the code in the bottom for the mid-year sale, but if not, I'll just put my code, uh, that I have in the bottom. So, it's funny because the color I was going to use today is actually a Mellow product because I wanted to use a nude lip for this, and this is the lipstick in Nude. 
and it just looks like this actually has the little name on the front which I really like when they do detailed stuff like that because I think it's cute so before we apply that I'm gonna use a lip liner uh, no let's not use this one I'm gonna use this bodyography I think it is yeah lip liner in barely there to line my lips with first because like I don't have any lips right now I don't overline my lips because I feel like you need to have some fullness to your lips to really pull that off and I don't have very full lips so I like to keep them I like to line it literally right on the line so right where my natural lip line ends is where I like to line because if I, I feel like if I do it any lower than that I look stupid so <laughs> And a lot of other people look stupid when they do it too, but I'm a nice person, so I'm not going to say it. <laughs> Even though I just said it. I won't say it to them. I don't know. I might. And I like this nude because, let me zoom in. It's not just, well, I just smacked the crap out of my camera. It's not just like a brown. It's like almost a mauve nude, which you guys know I love mauve. Because apparently I'm a 90-year-old woman or something. And I really like this lipstick because it doesn't dry out my lips. And the reason why I say that is because it says it's a matte formula, which it is. And a lot of times those will dry your lips out like crazy. So let me get a Q-tip out if I can find it. I can't find it? Okay, I found it. Because I also like to use a Q-tip to perfect my line. And this is that color. It's not just a brown, which I really like. I really like that. And I've used this several times, but I haven't used it in a video yet. I mean, you could tell when I opened it that I used it several times, but still. So I'm going to spritz my face with my Ready Set Radiant Skin Mist. Every time I do that, I'm sure you guys can tell I'm like, because my eyelashes like glue shut for a second. You should probably do it before your mascara, but I don't really care. It feels so good. I just want to keep doing it. I love that skin mist. It is so good. It feels so good. And it makes my makeup look really nice. I feel like it already looked nice, but I feel like it makes it look nicer. I'm going to use my Luxie 522 highlighter brush. And this highlighter afterglow from that Bronze and Brighton palette. It's just a shame. Shame? It's a shame. It's a champagne color shame it's a shame pain you know I can't talk if you watch me you know I can't talk now that you're watching me you know I can't talk it's all right and I'm going to take a little brush let's take my pencil brush I'm going to do my inner corner You guys know I like to put it there and take it up just a wee bit. Put some on the tip. Just the tip. <laughs> One day I'll stop doing that. Probably not. No guarantees. But, let's see. Let's take my ears out before I say it. Oh my. How sexy was that? <laughs> so, this is the finished look. Just a pretty deep brown more on the espresso brown side uh no well okay i look and it's just just a brown smoky eye that i felt like doing today and i hope you guys like this and if you see like dark on my face <laughs> i'll bring it up you can see my freckles pretty heavily through my skin right now but like i mentioned because we just got back from the beach and I get really tan really easily and I get really freckly really easily. So yeah, even though those don't normally go hand in hand together, they do on me. But this is the finished look and I hope you guys liked it. Did I say that right? I don't know. I hope you guys like it and recreate it. And if you do, tag me in your video and let me know. And I'm choking. I hope you guys subscribe to my channel. 
I put it here for you in my hands so you subscribe to my channel. No? Yes. Okay. Subscribe to my channel. I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!